now let us discuss about 1 by 8 d multiplexer in this video we are going to discuss about block diagram tooth table logical expressions or boolean expressions and the circuit diagram for the 1 to 8 d multiplexer first let's see the block diagram the name itself specifies the meaning so 1 by 8 d multiplexer has one input and it totally produces 8 outputs so one input 8 outputs so let the input is i whereas the outputs are we have 8 outputs from y0 to y7 so totally here we have 8 outputs we can write 8 as 2 power 3 so totally we require 3 selection lines so here the selection inputs are 3 selection inputs s0 s1 and s2 now let's see the working of 1 by 8 d multiplexer if the selection inputs are 3 bull 0 then the input will be connected to y0 suppose if the selection inputs are 0 0 1 then the input will be connected to this y1 likewise if the selection inputs are triple one then this input will be connected to this output y7 so you will get perfect clarity in the truth table so this is the truth table for 1 by 8 d multiplexer so we have two columns here the first column is inputs here the inputs are selection inputs s0 s1 s2 and the outputs are from y0 to y7 so here what are the inputs we have three inputs so totally we will we will have 2 power 3 combinations so 8 combinations from 0 to 7 so 0 in binary notation is 3 bull 0 1 in binary notation next is 7 in binary notation suppose if the inputs are 3 bull 0 then what will happen this input will be connected to y0 so now what is y0 y0 is nothing but i value whereas remaining outputs are 0 suppose if the selection inputs are 0 0 1 then this input will be connected to y1 this input will be connected to y1 so that means that y1 means i value so remaining zeros suppose if the selection inputs are 0 1 0 then the input will be connected to y2 so that means y2 value is i remaining values 0 likewise suppose if the selection inputs are triple one then the input will be connected to y7 so that means y7 value is i various remaining values are 0 now let us see the bo uh, boolean expressions or logical expressions first let us evaluate for y0 so when y0 will be active so y0 will be active when the inputs are 0 0 0 so 0 means complemented variable so s0 bar s1 bar s2 bar as well as what is y0 value i let us focus on y1 what is the boolean expression for y1 so when y1 will be active when the inputs are 0 0 1 so 0 0 1 means s0 bar s1 bar s2 s0 bar s1 bar s2 and i let us consider about this y4 so when y4 will be active when the inputs are 1 double 0 so 1 double 0 means s0 s1 bar s2 bar so y4 means s0 s1 bar s2 bar and i1 so every time we will get that i i, I value uh, let, let us focus on uh, this one so this is uh, y5 so when y5 will be active when the inputs are 101 so 101 means s0 s1 bar s2 s0 s1 bar s2 i now let us see the circuit diagram so we have totally uh, uh, these are the inputs s0 next this line represents s0 bar s1 s1 bar s2 s2 bar and i value what is the formula for y0 s0 bar s1 bar s2 bar i so simply we have to perform the and operation so this line represents s0 bar s1 bar this line s2 bar and i so this and gate accepts four inputs every and gate will accept four four inputs so this is nothing but y0 next what is y1 s0 bar s1 bar s2 i so this line represents s0 bar s1 bar next s2 and i so this is y1 so likewise let us see for y2 s0 bar s1 s2 bar i so this is s0 bar next this line is s1 and this line is s2 bar and i 
Likewise, let us see for last one. So, in the examination, you have to draw for remaining also. But space, for space, space constraints, I am showing only the limited. So, Y7 means S0, S1, S2. So, this line is S0, S1, S2 and I. So, you have to draw for from Y3 to Y6 also. So, this is about 1 by 8.